and today we're going to start with some photography basics. A lot of people buy cameras like this one, this is a Sony A7 and as you will see there's lots of buttons and dials on this camera and yet for the most part I see people using basically two buttons this one here which switches the camera on and off and it just so happens that also on this Sony A7 it's also the shutter release button so what are all the other buttons and dials for? Well, they're different, slightly different on each camera, but one is fairly consistent across all cameras, and it's the mode dial. It's this one here. Just about everybody I know has their dial set to that. Auto. This is an old Canon point and shoot. Basically the same thing. And as you can see, auto. It really is probably one of the worst settings you can actually have your camera on. So what do the others mean? Well, let's take them in turn. All cameras have their own variation of PASM. If you look at the dial, you'll see letters PASM, PASM. Canon is slightly different. They use slightly different terminology. TV, AV, it's an M. It's the same thing. It's what's generally referred to as PASM modes. But what do they mean? Well, let's skip past P at the moment and go straight to A. A is aperture. In this mode, you control the aperture of your lens. That's the f-stop. The smaller the f-stop, the more background blur you'll see, the smaller the depth of field. We'll get into this in a, another video. But you control that, whether you want everything in focus or just a small amount in focus and everything else blurred out. The camera will take care of everything else for you. S is speed mode. It's your shutter speed. This weekend I was down at Maxwell Air Force Base taking some photographs of an air show down there. If you've seen my editing video, which I posted a few days ago, you'll notice that some of the pictures weren't quite in focus. The reason for that is I was actually using such a slow shutter speed. I was using 160th and it should have been, actually probably should have been about 1 250th of a second. How did I get that? How did I tell my camera that I wanted 1 60th? Well, I actually used full on manual mode, but you can do the exact same thing by using the S setting. S is for speed and controls the shutter speed of your camera. So if you put it in S mode, you can tell your camera, I want 1 60th of a second. In a couple of weekends time, we've got an Indy Grand Prix race here and you'll want a faster shutter speed. You can tell your camera to ramp up to one, one thousandth, one two thousandth of a second and get nice crisp photographs of the fast cars, the Indy cars going past. On Canon cameras, of which this is one, rather than S, you'll see TV. Basically it stands for time, time interval. It's the exact same as S on other cameras. It controls the shutter speed. P. 
Now, somebody on the web erroneously said, and I don't know if they were joking, I really don't think they were, that P is professional mode. No. P is program mode. It's close to manual, but it's not. In A mode, in aperture mode, you control the f-stop of your lens, the aperture of your lens. The camera takes control of everything else. You can switch it over to S for speed, shutter speed. You control the shutter speed, the camera takes control of everything else. In P mode, it allows you to control all three things you need for exposure. ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. You adjust one, the camera will automatically adjust the other two so that you get the better what the camera thinks is the correct exposure. So you can put it in P mode, program mode, adjust your shutter speed, adjust your aperture, and the camera will automatically adjust the other values to compensate. Now, if you want to, in that example, adjust both your shutter speed and your aperture, you go in, you adjust your shutter speed, the camera might automatically change your aperture. So if you then change your aperture, the camera might automatically change your shutter speed. So it's not completely independent. The camera is still controlling two of the three settings you need for exposure. If you want to control everything, all aspects of your camera, that's what M is for, manual mode. On the Canon, it's also M. M is for manual. Manual means you have complete control of the ISO, the shutter, and the aperture. All the decisions are up to you. Now I should mention that even in A mode, aperture mode, and S, shutter priority mode, even although you're controlling one aspect of it, for example on A mode you're controlling your f-stop, your aperture on your lens, you can still adjust the ISO and the camera will then take the third setting, which is your shutter speed, and automatically set that for the best picture in the best picture that it thinks is right. Cameras don't always get it right. Same in S shutter priority mode, you control the speed of the shutter, you can still control the ISO separately. And the camera will adjust your aperture for again what it thinks is the best picture. Now most cameras also have things like SCN, if you can see it there, SCN. SCN is scene mode or scenic mode. Uh, on the cam, Canon, again there is an SCN for scene, and it gives you various options for various built-in presets for portraits, for landscapes, for nighttime photography. It's basically pre-baked in settings that the camera leans towards to give you that type of picture. On the Canon and other cameras, you might also see symbols. Now, various cameras have various symbols. On the Canon, there's one for portrait, there's one for landscape, there's not one for nighttime photography on this, there's a macro mode on this one for shooting really close up pictures. The other ones you'll find in the scene, the SCN setting. And of course, most cameras now have your film mode. Switch it around to take either 1080, 720, sometimes even with modern cameras, 4K videos. Same on the Canon. It has a film mode. Just by every camera does film now. So there's a very quick tour around the mode dial of a camera. In the videos that follow, I'll be explaining shutter speed, aperture, ISO settings, 
and I hope to get people out of automatic mode and at least into aperture and shutter priority modes, if not into full manual mode. There's a lot of times that you actually need to be in full manual because the camera just doesn't get it right. Short, sweet and I hope interesting and I hope you learned something. Stay tuned for more videos on learning photography. If you like this, leave comments below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.